Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Ducks Pokemon. My name is Zach, but you can just call me Ducky. And in today's video, if you could not tell, I am super freaking excited because I got it, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. I got it, y'all. In fact, I got two of them. One of them is going into the sealed collection for obvious reasons, but I hit the lamp. The Charizard UPC. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. And, of course, since I ordered it from Pokemon Center, it wouldn't be complete without entire box cutter gash. So thank you, Pokemon Center, for ruining the value of this product as a sealed product. Um, but hey, I was going to open it anyways. I've got one to open. I've got one to keep sealed. And now, we're going to do just that. We're going to open it up. So, uh, what's in this is a bunch of freaking stuff. Uh, first of all, we have a Charizard, three Charizard promos. Each worth, uh, I'll put the values up, but a total of 200 something dollars, and I only paid $120 for this. So this is automatic profit just by opening this box, which is amazing. But that's not all. It comes with so much more. First of all, the box itself you can, like, use for stuff. Uh, and the box has some deck sleeves, some dice, uh, a nice little paper insert as I keep hitting the camera because the college studio is not built for stuff of this scale. Uh, I can't even open it on camera. It's got this metal, uh, not metal, this magnetic, I should say, um, little latch on it. Oh, and it comes with a playmat? Oh my gosh, this thing is too awesome. Uh, real quick, so we're gonna do this in two parts, by the way, but real quick, let me just show y'all what's on the cover of this. Uh, we just got a nice Charizard VMAX, uh, roaring, giving a big old roar. Um, I just don't, I don't have room. I don't have room on my, on my desk that I'm doing this on. Uh, how does this work? Okay, so this comes out, uh, got a nice play mat. I'm probably not going to show that off because it'll probably be part of my setup soon. Um, there's little drawers, which is awesome, uh, where our main events are, and they're all in one. Okay, uh, so we've got a bunch. And when I say a bunch, I mean a bunch of booster packs, y'all. I'm sorry I'm doing this all off screen. I promise you I will show you everything once I get it all out. Uh, we've got a V-Star marker. Who cares about that? That can go to the side. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. We've got a nice metal coin featuring Charizard V-Max. If I can get this oriented correctly, it goes like this. There you go. There's Charizard V-Max. It's not a Wumbo Jumbo coin. It's just a regular coin. And of course, oh my gosh, these are incredible. Uh, Charizard VMAX card sleeves. Really, really beautiful. I'm just going to put those back there for a second. And then we are down to our last things before our main event. So we've got our nice metal uh, burn and uh, poison tokens and our gold metal dice. So all that can go back where it was. Those do not need to be here with me. Uh, those can stay in the box. Uh, and I believe, yep, there's also a guide. Uh, and y'all know about the guides, but this is going to show, I think, every Sword and Shield promo so far as the checklist, maybe? No, it's just not going to have a checklist. Awesome. So we've got the nice guide there, which is kind of pointless for me. I don't need it. Um, but there we go. That is the Charizard UPC. Um, there it is in all of its glory again. You're not going to get it on camera because it's too dang big, Ducky. What are you doing? What are you thinking? Uh, knocked over that. Larvitar took a little ride. And this is not going to stand up, so it's going to go back there as well. My um, bed is a mess because I recorded my bedroom. We have got 16 packs of Pokemon cards. We're going to be opening up only eight today. Um, yeah, all, all we need to open is eight. But this is what we're here for, y'all. Our promo card. So I'm not gonna, I, got, I, I didn't wanna show those off quite yet. I don't know why I did that. Uh, but we're gonna take them out of the cellophane wrapping. And I'm gonna give you the code card. One, two, and done. And I probably should have had sleeves ready. That's that's kind of my bad. Uh, but here we are, our beautiful, gorgeous, kind of low-key damaged. Great, they're a little damaged. That's all right. Uh, so we've got the Charizard V, which is my personal favorite. Um, you know, just him hiding in the, uh, the woods, setting everything on fire. What are you doing, Charizard? So I'm going to put that back there. This is the one that I believe is worth the most. Uh, it's the Charizard V Max. Beautiful. Oh my god, all of these cards are just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and finally, our alternate art, Charizard V Star. Again, Fighting Mewtwo, gorgeous, amazing, can't say enough 
about these cards. Uh, Pokemon knew exactly what they were doing when they made this product. Uh, they were like, let's pump this place up with Charizards, and they did exactly that. So good on them for knowing their audience and knowing what their audience wants. Uh, they just want Charizard. Ooh, okay. I had to take a sip of water because everything is just too amazing. I'm going to sort these packs. We've got three Fusion Yikes, three Evolving Skies. Is that one Vivid Voltage? Uh, one Darkness Ablaze. Two Lost Origin. Uh, three Astral Radiance. And three Brilliant Stars. Awesome! So to make eight, so three, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. To make eight, uh, let's open Darkness Blaze today. And then we'll take one of each of these. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll take one of these, so that's six. Uh, and now we need two more. So we need to take one from the... Uh, one, two, okay, let's do, uh, this is just so many choices. Let's do one Brilliant Stars and one Fusion Yikes. We'll get it out of the way. The rest of these will be opened in another video coming up soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these eight packs are going to be open at a later date, but today we've got these eight packs. We've got Fusion Yikes, Brilliant Stars, Darkness Ablaze, Astral Radiance, Fusion Yikes, Evolving Skies, uh, Brilliant Stars, and Lost Origin. So we'll end today on Lost Origin, I believe. Mm. We'll end on Evolving Skies, actually. No, I don't want to end on Evolving Skies. We'll end on Lost Origin. We'll go Brilliant Stars. That's a good order. We got Astral Radiance also, too, in the fold. Uh, so we'll do a little bit of Fusion Yikes. Uh, we'll do this. Mm. So many choices when, when we choose our pack order here. Let's just do this. That's a good pack order. And then we'll have, like, nothing but bangers coming up in the back half. But the front half is going to be a little underwhelming. I've been talking for way too much. This is going to be a really long video. I apologize in advance. But hey, we got a Charizard UPC, y'all. This was a lot more accessible than the um, Celebrations UPC. That I've only been ever been able to procure one copy of, one, two, and done. Um, and that one copy... I opened because I wanted the cards in it. I wanted the metal cards. Uh, so if I ever find myself uh, in a position to buy another box at like at or at or like close to retail price, definitely jumping on that. But this one I was no problem able to get two copies of right off the bat from Pokemon Center. Judel, Shroomish, Irreverse Hollow, Nine Tails, which is only an uncommon and our rare is a non holographic Latios. That is good. Get rid of our bad pulls right off the bat. Cyndaquil will not stand up. We know how Cyndaquil is on this channel. Very reluctant to stand. Um, next up, we've got Darkness Ablaze. Again, I really do enjoy the fact that we got no pulls in Fusion Yikes. It's a bad set. No one really wants to open it. There aren't that many good pulls in it. So it's nice to not have to worry about getting lower odds. Oh, okay. So this is the code card. One, two, and done. It's the old-fashioned code card, and that usually means that that's a good pull, but one, two, three, four to the front. They have been very inconsistent recently, so I would not be surprised if we got a regular rare here. Newest and improved is Fire Energy, Kabu, Turbo Patch, Gotharita. That's not where that goes. Oh my gosh. Uh, Darumanka, Carablast, Ducklet, Jigglypuff, Trapinch, a reverse hollow of a Torchic and our rare. It's a holographic Glycopod, so it was a, a correct one, I should say, uh, correct, like, how do I say this? It was a correct, like, thing. Code card. The code card was correct. That's what I was trying to say. There we go. Now everything looks great. Um, we're just gonna, I'm honestly just gonna be tearing through these packs. I never get the opportunity to open these many packs at once. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it to the fullest. All right. Sorry, something. Mm, we're all good. We're all good. Next pack, Fusion Yikes once again. We're getting all the good bad packs out of the way. No pulls from these, no bangers, please. And let's see if we can get some really awesome stuff out of the rest of the packs. And even if we don't, we still made a profit. I'm telling y'all, these cards uh, are worth, the, the promo cards, I should say, are worth about 200-ish dollars at the time I'm recording this. They're going to crash. It's probably going to be worth around the same value as the box uh, eventually, but... It doesn't matter because I would still be breaking even, so all of these are just bonus packs, basically. We've got ourselves a newest and improvedest. Water Energy, Graveler, reaching out towards ya, Musharna, 
Heatmore, Mudkip, Caterpie. I really like that artwork. Okay, I'm going to move on, but I do enjoy that artwork. More Pico, Eevee, Shelder, a Reverse Hollow Totodile, and our rare. Thank Arceus. Once again, a regular rare. I've never been so happy to keep pulling regular rares because those were the three packs that I did not need anything from. Out of these 16 packs, I'm hoping for about six pulls would be really, really nice. Uh, if we can go a little bit over one for four, um, that'd be really awesome. Uh, what's actually probably going to happen is I'm going to get four pulls. I'm going to go exactly one for four. Uh, and that's a normal odds for a your average Pokemon card pack. But maybe they killed the rates because it's a UPC and, uh, you know... The, it's a premium product. Why Why are the code cards just, like, deciding to be in different directions? One, two, and done. So I guess that one's rune two, but one, two, three, four to the front. I don't remember what that means. That might mean bad pulls, but there's still trainer gallery in the set. Oh, we've got a newest and improvedest fire energy. Print plop. Sun Dread Shell Grottle. Very playable, in my opinion. Turbo energy. That's also a playable card. Sock. Burmy. Staryu. Magmar. A reverse hollow, Gibble, and our rare. Oh, what am I talking about? These code cards. RCSV, my third RCSV. It's getting annoying, y'all, pulling all these doubles, but hey, I'm not complaining because it's a new card. Uh, it's a good, not a new card, a good pull, I should say. That looks so awkward. This RCSV just sitting there with all these amazing, beautiful Charizard promo cards worth $50 to $80 a piece. Like, this is surreal. It's surreal. Uh, the UPC, the Celebrations UPC, didn't have nearly as good uh, promo cards. It had the metal cards cool, the gold cards were kind of underwhelming, so it was just the metal cards that everyone wanted, and they're still worth, like, enough to, to justify the purchase, but at the same time, it's a little disappointing that the, the, the Charizard just completely outshows the, the Celebrations. One, two, and done. But I'm sure the celebration is going to be worth more in the long run because it was uh, a lot less printed. A lot less printed. Charizard can get anywhere now, I think. It's still in stock at Target. New and is and blah, 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 blah. Newest and improvedest. Electric. Whizcash. Sweet Honey. Cricketune. Ponyard. Poochiana. Yanma. Drifloon. Sudowoodo. Another Radiant Halucha! This is my fourth. This is my second in two videos. Spoiler alert. This is my fourth Radiant Halucha and our rare. It's like non-holographic Reggie Elecky. Dang. Yeah, you get like, I don't even know. Like, I, you just got to go all the way back here, dude. You are just like annoying me right now. Okay, hold on. All right, we're all good. We, we just tore through five packs. I don't think I've ever gone through five packs that quickly. Uh, but right now we're technically one and a half. I'm going to say a half. We're one and a half or five. Um, so out of these eight, love to get three so that we can go six for 16, but we'll see. Brilliant Stars. Turner Gallery in Brilliant Stars. There is. Yes? Yes. This is the first set that has a uh, Trainer Gallery in it. So here we go. Can we get it? We've gotten the alternate art Charizard from the set. And I was really happy when we pulled that. That was a while ago. Oh my gosh, these code cards are so deceiving. Uh, one, two, and done. Okay, so that means we're probably getting nothing in this pack. One, two, three, four to the front. Uh, but anyways, as I was saying, uh, we pulled the alternate Charizard. Brilliant Stars is one of those sets that I probably don't need anything from anymore. Uh, I've, I've been satisfied uh, with what I've gotten from Brilliant Stars, so I, I don't see a need uh, to continue opening it unless like it comes in a box like this. Got a Reverse Hollow Rare, because I'm the king of Reverse Hollow Rares, Grim Snarl, and our rare... It's a non-holographic Lyperd. There we go. There we go. I don't think anything's going to dethrone this Charizard V. Here we go. Evolving Skies. Second to last pack. Beautiful artwork here of Umbreon. Uh, what do I need from Evolving Skies? Everything. There, I haven't pulled anything good from Evolving Skies. Uh, I would love that evolution, any evolution, at, for that matter, um, alternate art uh, would be beautiful, but at the same time, probably not going to happen, just because uh, my luck. One, two, and done. Who knows, though? You always got to keep your mind open. You never know what's going to happen when you're opening Pokemon cards. It really is a gamble every single time. There's nothing uh, you can do about it to raise your odds because you're opening random packs. Got ourselves a newer and improved this. I don't remember. Energy. Spirit Mask, 
Full face guard, rescue carrier, three trainers in a row. Wow. Dwebble, Rufflet, Rock and Roll, Wabafet, Hopip, a reverse hollow Zinnia's Resolve, and our rare is a holographic Salamence. Unfortunately, I already have this card, otherwise, I'd be pretty happy about it. So, so far, we've got two holographics out of our seven packs. Um, and we're down to the last pack, and it's Lost Origin, the newest set uh, by the time I'm recording this. Obviously, uh, Silver Tempest is coming out in November, getting hyped for that as well. Uh, really excited for that Lugia card. Uh, but anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm about to do something a little weird, a little wacky, but it's what I do on the channel, and I love to do it, so I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, and if you guys are recurring viewers, first of all, thank you. I, I really appreciate you checking out the channel again, giving me another chance. Uh, but also, you guys know exactly what I'm about to do, so I'm going to send you all the good vibes. Ready? All the good vibes have been sent to you, the Duck Squad, and all I ask in return is that you give me all the good luck, and there are three ways you can do that. Number one, like this video. It is so simple. You scroll down and you click that like button. Number two, comment on this video. You can comment anything you want as long as it's appropriate. Maybe tell me which one of these promo cards is your favorite. I'm curious. My favorite is the Charizard V, uh, but some people like the VMAX a lot. And, uh, you know, that's a cool, uh, it's a good opinion to have. Uh, they're all cool. Uh, and number three, if you're not already subscribed, please consider clicking that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, click that notification bell. Be notified every time I post Saturdays at 3 p.m. Central Time. Without further ado, we are on to the last pack of this first half of the UPC. Do not fret. We have another eight packs coming up in the next video, so you're just going to have to wait. You're going to have to hold on. You're going to have to, you know, bide your time, one, two, and done, uh, until you can see the next video, the next packs. One, two, three, four to the front. We got a V-Star marker. Ooh, fancy. We've got a V-Star marker. A Galarian Stunfisk. A treasure box of disaster. Definitely did not just, like, not read the card. Litwick, Love Disc. Phalanx. Poliwag. Gligar. Oh my Arceus. This is not happening right now. Um, I literally pulled this in the last video, as well as the Radiant Hawlucha, so that I've just gotten two doubles within a single opening day. That's insane. Uh, Radiant Sneasler, I mean, it's cool and whatever, but still, kind of annoying. And our rare, it's a non-holographic Vanette, so, um, yeah, that's wacky. That's really wacky. Uh, so we went technically, I'm gonna call it two for eight, because those are half-point hitters, those Radiants are half-point hitters. If y'all just came from watching the uh, Infernape V-Box opening, you're going to be like, hey, wait, isn't this the exact same opening? It kind of is, because it's the same cards. But we opened up the Charizard UPC. I cannot believe I just opened up $120 worth of product. But we are not done yet. We still have eight awesome, amazing packs left. We've got some Astral Radiance. we got some Fusion Yikes. we got some Lost Origin, Vivid Voltage, and two packs of Evolving Skies. So... Plenty of surprises in store, uh, but you're going to have to go check that out for the next week's video. Anyways, that's just about going to do it for the video today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always, always, always do those things. It makes me happy, and hopefully my videos make you just a little bit happier. Remember, I get the bad pulls, so you don't have to. And with all that being said, I'm Octodux Pokemon, and I'm out.